Hey there folks, this is David on David's Brain. Welcome back to our Let's Play of Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories Reverse Rebirth for the PS4. Let's see, last time I surprisingly took down the replica a lot faster than I thought I would. So, all I'm supposed to do is just, well, go see Namine and then go and take care of Ansem. Or at least that's what I would like to say, but beforehand I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna have to grind all the way up to level 99 and... Let's see, right now I'm at level 62, which means I've got a long way to go. Uh, oh yeah, and also in case you haven't noticed, my attack points are all the way up to their maximum value. Uh, sorry you didn't see that, but... Well, again, that would have meant uh, having to see me just grind all the way through all these heartless, and... Yeah, just the, the same four enemies over and over. Oh, wait, there's four... Yeah, no, three. The same three enemy types over and over and over again. That's nothing no one wants. Alright. So one random joker left, saving after the very last door. <laughs> and there she is. Though, how did she move so all the where even Are is you this place in the real world anyway? Yes. I see. That was you. Huh? Forget it. Nothing. Please, come this way. And she just stuffed Snor uh, Sora in a snow globe. Sora! You know, because healing. What have you done to Sora? Nothing. He's just asleep. To get his memory back. Uh, might want to go over that again. So, Sora chose to forget about this castle and get his old memories back? Pretty much. You have a choice to make, too. Why me, too? No one's messed with my memories. It's not your memories. It's your darkness. In your heart, there is darkness. And in that darkness is Ansem. He may be at bay for now, but eventually he'll wake, and he will take over you just like he did before. But I have powers you can use. With my powers, I can put a tight lock on your heart. That way, Ansem could never come out from inside you. What happens to me if I let you do that? Will I forget? Everything? Like Sora? I'll have to. Yep. The darkness in you will be sealed tight just like your memory. You'll stop remembering the darkness. You'll go back to how you were. Riku, please choose. He doesn't even look worried. Will I sleep like that too? Yes. Hmm. Figures. Sora always did as he pleased. Whatever we'd be doing together, he'd find a way to slack off. Even trying to leave the islands. I did all the work on the raft by myself. Uh, he was getting the supplies. That's it. When this slacker wakes up, I'll tell him off. I told him to take care of Kyrie, and here he is just taking a nap. Uh, extenuating circumstances, dude. But I can't chew him out like he deserves, if I've been asleep. <laughs> okay, kind of a bit of a round. I don't need way, my heart but... locked. I'm ready. I'm gonna fight Ansem. But what if his darkness overtakes you? If that happens, then the darkness will show me the way. Yes, that's true. <laughs> Why do I get the feeling that you knew I would say that? I didn't know. I hoped. I wanted you to face the darkness. Because you're the one who can. So that's the reason. That's why you came to my rescue inside that light. In the form of Kyrie. When would you know? I knew when I met you. You and Kyrie smell the same. Uh, dude, you don't say that to a girl on the first date, okay? Just FYI. Look after Sora. 
And for that matter, use a different conditioner. Seriously, it's kind of creepy. Yeah, you don't... And yeah, telling Sora that, yeah, he's just been... Yeah. Uh, just here sleeping. Okay, dude, I know that's kind of just a playful way of just saying, yeah, I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not gonna take that route, but still, come on, you could have phrased it a little bit better. Yeah, but, you know, whatever, playful jerk thing, blah, 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 blah. Just making sure I didn't, uh, uh, didn't miss any hard ones, because, well, yeah, sometimes that does tend to happen. And yeah, just to make the upcoming, you know, several hours of tedious grinding just a little bit easier. But don't worry, I will be sparing you from all that, because you do not need to see me get all the way up to level 99. Just, no. Besides, if, if he did decide to go to sleep, then uh, yeah, and Sora tries to remind him of all the, you know, absolutely horrible stuff Riku did, then it would be kind of awkward. Well, yeah, to say the least. And besides, I doubt uh, Riku's in the mood to be taking the easy way out. Especially not after that whole uh, deal with Zexion. He knows what he did. Why did I choose these rooms that are so big and so long to go through? Nah. Then, nah, then again, most of it was just kind of randomized, but whatever. All spot to check. <laughs> and here we are, Conqueror's Respite. inside. Oh. Gosh! I guess you decided not to go to sleep. Well, considering the fact that he's standing right in front How'd of you, you I that? think that was obvious. I heard it from Diz. <gasps> oh, yes, I can teleport now. What, you didn't see that earlier? Do you know him? Well, I'm not sure. Got a feeling that I've met him somewhere. Ooh, ominous. Hey, who are you? I could be nobody or anybody. It is up to you whether you choose to believe in me or not. Boy, you really like pushing decisions on other people. Riku, with types like this, they usually just uh, take a vow of cryptocy just to uh, just to keep things more vague and ominous and cool and blah, 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 blah. And you have pushed away slumber, making the choice to face Ansem. Do you think I'm reckless? You have chosen your own path. Are you supporting me? 
or are you abandoning me? That will be your choice as well. Okay, if I asked you if you wanted a drink, coffee or tea, which one would you go for? I, uh, I would let you choose for me. Christ! What's this? It's a... It... The organization will pursue you. Like a pack of hunting dogs, they will sneak up on you if they sense your presence. However, this cloak that is worn by nobodies will render their eyes and their noses useless. The ears, not so. Well, that's kind of a given. They wear this to give themselves protection from being devoured by darkness. Is it clear? Even the organization cannot rule the darkness. Doesn't matter. I won't run from the darkness. Hmm. hmm. Good choice. The card will draw out your heart's darkness. Finish your business with Ansem. Come on. Let's go. Alright. Well, we'll go deal with Ansem then. You just go and sit tight there, pal. Cardmaster Riku. Yep. The last card. Basement, uh, basement floor one. Uh, where the darkness of Riku's heart and Ansem are free. Okay. And... Oh, wait, never mind. I forgot you could teleport. Gosh, it sure feels like I met Diz somewhere before. He said this card will draw Ansem out. Don't worry. We can defeat him together. Sorry. I've got to face him alone. But why? Because There's no point cliche. in doing this if I can't do it on my own. But I do need a favor. If Ansem is the victor, he's going to enslave me. If that happens, use your powers to destroy- Of course! I'll be right there to save you. Huh? No, th that's not it. I want you to destroy- No way! Help you out, got it. No matter what happens, I'm gonna be right there to help you. I promise you that. Unless you don't believe I'll come through for you. I choose to believe in you. Always, your majesty. And I in you. You're not gonna lose. I know it. Thanks. All right, little buddy. This is it. Storyteller Riku. Let's see. By embracing his inner darkness, Riku gained a great power, but so did Ansem. Guided by the enigmatic Diz, Riku made his way through Twilight Town, defeating his copy and locating Namine. When he found her, he also found Sora and friends in a deep slumber, waiting to get their lost memories back. Namine told Riku he could seal Ansem away forever by giving up his memories, but Riku refused to forget his friends. Riku chose to fight with his own strength, and with the king in his sight, he now makes ready for his final battle with Ansem. Will his choice take him to the realm of light? or darkness. Hmm. Namine, a young witch who can manipulate memories. As Kairi's shadow, Namine altered Sora's memory under orders from the organization, but, but the forgiveness in Sora's heart moved, uh, moved her to disobey these orders. Now she watches over Sora until the restoration of his memories is complete. Diz, truly an enigma. Diz appeared before Riku in the guise of Anthem, presenting him with choices regarding the darkness within his heart. It said he and the King of met. Okay, not giving it away. Axel, Organization 13's number 8. He's a nobody whose intentions and secrets are hidden from all. Axel has no qualms about explaining others to suit his needs. He used Sora and Namine to silence Barlucia and halt his spy against the organization. Axel claims that he and Sora have something in common, but that connection's unclear. 
again, it's because he's, he's best buds with his nobody, Roxas. Marluxia. Organization 13's number 11. Marluxia Lord Sora to Castle Oblivion in hopes of using his power to seize the organization. Why? Well, it's because of... Well, okay, that's uh, getting a little bit spoilery, but we'll save that for another time. He were nominated to alter Sora's memories and fooled Vexen into challenging him. All is going according to plan, but Marluxia's scheme dissolved when Axel set nominate free. Marluxia was ultimately destroyed by Sora. Larxene, Organization 13's number 12. Larxene conspired with Marluxia to take over the organization and intended to pull Axel in as well. However, her abrasive, unfeeling personality proved her downfall. Provoking Sora's anger was a fatal error. Basically, uh, uh, she pressed the girlfriend button. Shouldn't have did that. And only one thing left to get. Oh, fight against the Neo Shadow. You'll never let the darkness get the best of you. I'm sure of that. Well, at least not now, now that he actually knows what he's doing. Alright, Castle Oblivion, here we go. such a hurry. I'll be here at the very heart of darkness, watching you plunge into the same darkness inside of you. <laughs> uh, good grief, old man. We are not in the mood for this right now. Just get out here, fight us so we can get on our way. Ugh. Professor Reed. Ha! Record Keeper Reed. Like? Ha! Take this! Like it! Here it is, the Neo Shadow. And it looks like I'm playing with the full deck this time. Literally. And yeah, only just three uh three rooms to go. <laughs> Thanks to Alexia's card, I could just go and clear out these articles like no problem. Come <laughs> on. 
Finally, starting to get some decent XP. Let's roll them bones.
I really hope I don't get a bombless darkness roll. Because that kind of stinks. Too bad I don't have the Neo Shadow enemy card, because, yeah, that would be an enemy card I could actually find useful. Yep, one who reigns over cards. Woo. Maxing out Riku. Oh. <laughs> 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 
Roll the die. <laughs> you know, I honestly thought I was gonna get a mo- uh, I thought I should use a moment for free, but... <laughs> yeah, funny. But now comes the not-so-funny part. Yeah, where I'm gonna have to grind for hours and hours until I can find an them. Alright, so here's where I say goodbye for now, and I'll see you in just a little bit. So until next time, this is David on David's Brain. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and contribute to my Patreon. Links in the description at the bottom. Goodbye! <laughs>